We want a bit of our focus this morning on the drought here and the problems being caused, but we know it's happening elsewhere across Europe as well. Yeah, let's talk to our Berlin correspondent, Jenny Hill, who is... Jenny, my goodness, I've never seen the River Rhine look like that. I'm so sorry, I'm genuinely shocked. I've no, I'm genuinely shocked at that image. Morning. Yeah, a lot of the people that we've met down here have expressed the same sentiment. Good morning from the riverbed of the mighty Rhine. We should be underwater here. Just look at this. It's completely dried in places. Um, and actually, if cameraman Ali is able to, um, to show you, there's an island in the river there where people normally have to get across to the castle there uh, by boat. Actually, we've seen people picking their way across a little stone bridge which is now exposed because the water level has now fallen so dramatically. It's worth pointing out that you do get low water levels on this river pretty much every year. This actually isn't as bad as it was in 2018 yet. And the point to make is that these kind of low water levels are happening more frequently. And what people here tell you is that this is happening earlier in the year. It's not the dry season, as they call it. That's for September and October. That's usually when they'd see this kind of low water level. Instead, it's happening now. And they've got huge concerns about what that means for the environment and for the industry, which is such an important part of what happens here. Now, barges, we have seen them. And actually, one might appear behind me shortly. Some are able to still get through. Parts of this section of river are now impassable to the larger vessels which fetch and carry to the power plants and the industrial complexes which line the river banks. But some of them are still getting through, although you can see there is a channel here. They're having to take it extremely slowly and the people who run those barges are saying they can't load them up the way they'd like to. They're having to lighten the load so that the vessels sit much higher in the water. It's a concern, of course, to industry. Experts say the economy may well suffer as a result. It's a big headache for the German government because, as you know, we don't have enough gas here in Germany to get through the winter. And so the German government is relying on the coal-fired power plants, many of them along the banks of this river. But you need coal for those plants. And of course, the coal is brought to the plants by, you've guessed it, those barges. So it's a big problem. And that's before you think about the wider implications of all of this. No one we spoke to here is in any doubt that this is a result of climate change. They can see the landscape around them shifting and they wonder and they fear what that's going to mean for the years to come. Yeah, Jenny, um, I'll say thanks, Jenny Hill, our Berlin correspondent. Yet again, another image that is a stark reminder, isn't it? After last month's heat wave and what's going on at the moment, that, is, that genuinely shocked me. Yeah, absolutely.